major movements that we pretty much need and use every single day. Whether we need to take a dump. What up guys, The Fighting Therapist here and for today's video I got you guys a mobility exercise for your T-spine, that middle portion right here. We all know with COVID-19 we're either stuck at home working from home, so we're sitting down all day, we're either playing video games, we're either watching Netflix or we're laying down all day. Maybe some of you are working out for one to two hours a day but that's not enough to keep that spine moving with the majority of the time being sitting down doing absolutely nothing. Before we jump to the video, guys, please don't forget to hit that notification bell, click that subscribe button, and give this video a like. The more likes I get, the more outreach I have, the more people get to see it. Maybe comment, tell me what they liked, tell me what they didn't like, and the more I get to help you, help me, help each other, let's get that going. So if we think about the T-spine, it plays a big part when it comes to flexion, extension, rotation, side bend, right? Those are a lot of the major movements that we pretty much need and use every single day whether we need to take a dump, right? Sit down, bend over. Whether we need to go grab something up on that shelf, whether we need to bend down, grab something from the floor, side bend, take our t-shirt on, take our t-shirt off. Anything that it comes to daily living, we utilize our T-spine the majority of the time. A lot of the transfer of energy happens there, right? We need that rotation aspect, especially when you're talking about sports specific movements, not just ADLs, activity daily living, right? When it comes to hockey players, tennis players, fighters, MMA athletes, wrestlers, uh, volleyball players, anything. A lot of movement needs to be happening at that T-spine. And because we are moving less, this is a problem. This video is gonna tackle that particular issue. So for the first exercise, I got you guys T-spine extension. Because we're always in that flex position from working, sitting, doing nothing, we need to learn how to extend our spine, not just from the low back, but from the mid portion, our T-spine, right? coming from C7, well, T1, right, right at the top, and then coming all the way down to T12, where the last rib is that you guys, feel, your floating rib. So being able to get that nice extension is what we need. So this first exercise is gonna handle that situation in a supine position. The next exercise is gonna do the same thing, but it's going to be done in a child pose position. So you can do this um, not on the foam roller, you can do it on your countertop, just by putting your hands together and praying backwards, really trying to drive the elbows in that is gonna cause that extension. It's also gonna pull on your tricep and lats. That's completely fine, that's exactly what we want. But two methods to tackle extension in two different positions, which is a great exercise for you guys to utilize. Maybe one day you do the laying down one, maybe the other one you do in a child pose position, or on your knees. Both. Next is gonna be three versions of the open book. So we all know that open book exercise we do. If you're in yoga, you go in a deep lunge and open yourself, right? So you're getting a lot of T-spine rotation. And these are the three ways that you guys can manipulate. So the simple one is just a normal open book where we're just gonna come down, open up, you're gonna feel really tight in the chest. We're really trying to move. The reason the foam roller is there is to not allow you to over rotate. So we wanna keep our inner leg on that foam roller to make sure that we're getting the rotation from our T-spine and we're not cheating in other regions. The next one on version two is going to be adding a little bit more dynamic movement to it. So the T-spine not only has to open up this way, but what if we came to the middle and then had to open up as well? It's just another variation. You're gonna feel that this one is a lot harder than just coming at the open one. So play around with both of them. And then the last one is gonna get the chest and the anterior musculature involved, where now instead of just opening, we really wanna get a huge shoulder rotation, open up everything that's coming here, feel that stretch that's coming along, the fascia, the musculature, and then we wanna come back into that closed position that we started in. So three great versions of open book that you guys can use and play around with and put on different days or just use in the same day if you're doing a upper body T-spine mobility focused mobility session. Next is gonna be thread the needle. So we don't just open, right? We also need to be really good at rotating in since a lot of the time we tend to focus that on our lumbar spine and we don't really use that on our upper spine or we try it and we can't breathe. The focus here is to allow that to come in and allow you to breathe. All of these movements, you need to be able to go into the position and also breathe naturally and not be stuck like you need to hold something. So if we can allow movement with breath, we're allowing our body to go into these, 
go into these positions and then allow that nutrient exchange, that oxygen to come in, the blood flow to keep going. More of a relaxed parasympathetic state rather than being stuck here, holding our breath, being nice and tight and stuck and our sympathetic systems firing. That's not what we want at all. So super easy exercises. There are a lot more. I just want to give you guys a couple using a foam roller at home. If you do have one, I'm sure a lot of people do have a foam roller. So it's a different way of utilizing the foam roller to your advantage. I hope you guys liked this video. Please let me know what you thought down below in the comments. I will put up the exercise list with a little bit, a little bit more tips in the description down below. Um, and yeah, keep your spine healthy. Keep it moving. Try to move a little bit every hour, guys. Don't sit around and do nothing all day. Put a timer if you need. Do something to allow yourself to sit for a bit, work what you, what you need to do, move for about five to 10 minutes, and then go back to work. And just keep repeating that. Allow the movement to happen. Allow it to become natural. Make it part of your daily habits, and you will very much thank yourself for doing it. Not thank me. I'm just giving you stuff to do. If you do it, thank yourself, because you did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy, that's Zach. Punch, headbutt elbow, knee, 